There are many different ways you might organize your files using sections and projects in Abstract. These are just a few. If you're working at a company that delivers one main product across a variety of platforms, such as a banking company, you might see projects like this. Mac OS app, Windows app, iOS app, Android app, web app, and more. Each of those projects would contain all of the files and documentation that are necessary for the designs of the entire product on that platform. You might also see some projects like design system, marketing website, brand guidelines, or user flows. If you're an in-house designer or contractor working at a company that delivers multiple products, you might see sections in the organization for different teams or for groupings of products, either by platform or by product. In this example, Healthy Shrimp makes health and lifestyle products. In each section, you'll find one project for each product on that platform. You'll notice that each section repeats those products, but on a different delivery platform. You could also have some additional projects for designs that need to be used across many products and projects, such as design system, data visualization, user authentication, or social integrations. Another way that you might organize your sections and projects is by audience. If you have a variety of options for different user bases or groups, such as this example of JamClam, which is a music app that has both music artists and listeners as user groups. These audiences probably have widely different experiences, so it makes sense to break them out into separate sections and keep all of the projects related to that user group in one section. Abstract can also be used to organize agency work. In this case, you may have sections in Abstract based on your clients, and within those sections you could have one or more projects to contain all of the designs you've done for that client. Some projects might be ongoing, like if you have a permanent relationship with the client and continuously contribute to their product design, while others could be more short-lived. Finally, you might organize your sections and projects by jobs to be done, especially if you have a very complex product with many different areas or user segments. In this e-commerce example, the sections break out the various user groups of the product. However, the merchant experience on this e-commerce platform is quite complex, so different projects have been created for each job to be done by that user type. This is not an exhaustive list of all the ways to organize your work in abstract, but hopefully it's given you some ideas. Now you can go ahead and think about what method would work best for your team.